Well, hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of k and MRD Radio Stuff. Today, we're going to do something stupid. We're going to see if we can make a dipole out of solder. Stay tuned. The idea for this came about, uh, I was in the Ham Radio Crash Course uh, live stream after chat on Discord. Someone was asking about the paperclip dipole that Josh had made for 20 meters. And he was asking, well, if, if you soldered all the paperclips together, would it, would it work better? Well, it probably would. So that got me thinking, well, if solder's really doing all the work, why not just get rid of the metal and make an entire antenna out of solder? It's like, if the black box is the only thing that survives a plane crash, why not just make the whole plane out of a black box? So I got some parts together, and uh, we'll see uh, we'll see how this thing does. Let's take a look. So we don't really need many parts. Uh, I just I'm using uh, some solder that I've had for a very 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 long time. For uh, 6040 solder from Weller Rosin Core. That's very important. If it's going to melt, you definitely want to have some flux to you know. Make sure you make that solid connection while you're keying up. But uh, yeah, it's it's thin stuff. I don't really know. I've, I've literally had this roll of solder since high school. So that was, yeah, it's definitely only two years ago since high school for sure. Uh, <laughs> so that's the solder. And then we've got one of these little BNC to uh, banana plug jobbies. And that's how we're going to connect our radiator and our uh, counterpoise, I suppose it would be. And then uh, just a half wave dipole for two meters. So what's that, about 20 inches? So one foot eight inches or what is that? Uh, oh, about 51 centimeters-ish for those of you across the pond and well, really the rest of the world. So uh, yeah, that's the entire antenna there. And <laughs> this is so stupid. So we're gonna take our solder and we're gonna put our radiating elements in the little hole here and tighten her down so now our radiating element is on we'll go ahead and repeat that same process for the ground side and that is one completed dipole <laughs> so let's put it on the analyzer and see what we get so now you're probably asking yourselves mike how are we going to deploy this and this amazing antenna well I'll put it back together first. <laughs> it just broke. That might throw off our SWR. Not the strongest of wire. All right, fixed. So I got a little paracord here on, let's say, a squid pole. <laughs> just going to wrap this around, and that's it. There you go. And we'll get uh, some good good quality RG8X, which is terrible for these frequencies. Should be all right, this is like nine feet. All right, let's see what we get. We'll go for two meters here. 146.52. <laughs> Look at that, we're 1.4. <laughs> well, a little low on the ohms, but wow. That's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Maybe a little short. But that's because it broke a little bit. Probably about a, a centimeter broke. That much broke. <laughs> we got 1.4 on solder. <laughs> now, let's see if we can hear anyone. And I don't want to hear any of you guys saying, oh, you, better, you need to put a choke on that. You need to choke it right there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we can get. Clarkson's a two, uh, two meter repeater. <laughs> That's 10 miles north of me. We just got in 5.9. <laughs> K8MRD, uh, just testing a solder dipole antenna. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna come back to me. South Lion's a two meter repeater. Let's see what else, yeah. Ah, oh, we can't hit them. Oh, my battery's dying, I should change that. 
All right, new battery. <clears throat> Let's see. Nothing on the South Lion. Not surprised we're inside. Pontiac. There we go. KMRD uh, testing a solder dipole antenna. Anyone around for a quick signal report? <laughs> this is so stupid. It's not melting yet. We got to make a contact. Let's see here. This is K8MRD testing a solder dipole antenna for two meters. Anyone around for a quick signal report? This is Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. No one's ever on 5-2, so this is like a shot in the dark here. Screw this. Let's go outside. All right. So I decided to drag this outside. Got it up another, you know, two or three feet, so height is might here. 75. Oh, there we go. That's a 440 machine, though. Let's try the Clarkston again. This is about 10 miles north of me. This is K8MRD testing an antenna. Anybody got a second for a signal report? That sounds clear. K8MRD, WD and INW. It's working good. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic, Harry George. Long time no talk. I'm uh, I'm using an HT with a with a dipole antenna that uh, the the radiating elements are solder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just uh, filming a video for YouTube, a kind of a willet antenna type thing. The I the the idea is an absolutely horrible one, but. One that I had nonetheless, and uh, so I built yeah, just a, a BNC uh, to binding post uh, with uh, about 20 inches of solder on either end as a dipole running uh, vertical about, oh, eight feet off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that is, well, I don't know why it wouldn't work. <laughs> well, that was my theory, you know. If, if the solder's the one doing all the heavy lifting with the uh, soldering the wires, why not just make the whole thing out of solder? So it's not melting yet, so that's a good thing. You gotta give it more power. <laughs> I'm only on a five watt uh, Yesu HT, so I don't think that's gonna happen. But did you hear me earlier? I, I had the antenna inside my house, and I I brought it outside, so figured I'd uh, eliminate the house variable. Okay, right on. Well, good to know it worked there. Yeah, I was keying it up. So, all right, we'll catch you later. <laughs> this is K and MRD seventy three. A lot better than a duck. So, we'll talk to you later. W D and I N W clear. There you go. It's a lot better than a duck. <laughs> this is so stupid. You've accumulated over the years. Look, this is the South uh, Lion repeater. Yeah, this is well, receiving is one thing, but particular. this is uh, about 16, 16 miles away from me. So. As the crow flies. Sure, and do that now. <laughs> it's 5'9 plus, it's plus. It's that's crazy. <laughs> well, <laughs> you saw it here first. I have just proved beyond the shadow of a doubt that solder is the absolute best radiating element ever. Screw that copper wire stuff. Rossi <laughs> core solder works as an antenna yeah that clarkston repeater like i said is about 10 miles north of me so uh thanks to w wd8 inw for coming back to me i think his name is george i haven't, haven't been on that repeater in a while but uh <clears throat> yeah what a what a stupid experiment but it's not that's what a ham radio is all about try anything you can get a coat hanger if you want i mean i suppose you could even use an actual wire but how stupid easy was it to make a tiny little dipole antenna for two meters literally took me a minute maybe two minutes to make um that's about it so and what a, this would actually be a really cool antenna to just have out in the field if you if you need something really small and lightweight like way more compact than that uh, roll up slim jim we did a few weeks ago so anyway <laughs> obviously this antenna is for fun just to experiment uh <laughs> don't take much credence in anything i'm saying here but do take credence to this i do appreciate you watching Thank you so much. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell, hit the like, share it, do whatever you want with it, so long as you like it. Thanks so much for watching another episode of K&M Radio Stuff 73.